Imagine this, China has created an advanced space weapon sending shockwaves through Western nations. Would it shock you that its potential exists to fundamentally alter warfare in future conflicts? In today's video, we unveil this mysterious yet potency technology. Join us as we unveil its inner workings, discover its function among world leaders, and reveal all that lies beneath this game-changing threat. China's recent development of a weapon capable of hijacking satellites has alarmed the international community, particularly Taiwan. China has developed sophisticated cyber capabilities which include denial, exploit, or hijack of rival satellites, thereby rendering them ineffective for communication, weapon systems, or intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance purposes. This poses an imminent risk to Taiwan, where satellite communication plays an essential part of security and defense measures. Taiwan has taken notice of China's threat and upgraded its communication infrastructure accordingly, hoping that their cyber capabilities won't allow China to cut Taiwan off from the outside world. Taiwan recently upgraded its communication infrastructure and has also announced new military drills scheduled to commence next month, designed to test how well prepared their forces are in conducting defensive operations and battle planning capabilities should China invade Taiwan. Taiwan's Western allies have also taken note of this developing situation and conducted military drills with regional partners, such as U.S. conducting drills with Philippines recently, its largest annual military exercise to date. Military analysts speculate that should China invade Taiwan, Bosco Island may serve as its front line as it provides access to Taiwan's eastern coastline and thus may serve as an entryway into mainland Taiwan from its east. China's recent military provocations around Taiwan have raised significant alarm, particularly its fighter jet exercises and deployment of its aircraft carrier Shandong in the area. To respond effectively, the U.S. is increasing its presence there while conducting more drills with partners. Situation is currently volatile and China and Taiwan face an imminent military conflict, making preparation essential to their safety and that of their Western allies who support and ensure its protection. All parties involved should work collaboratively towards de-escalating tension in this volatile region to guarantee all participants' well-being and ensure peace. Taiwan has closely observed China's military buildup and recent military provocations, such as fighter jet drills and deployment of an aircraft carrier called Shandong in its region. To counteract such moves, Taiwan is taking measures to strengthen its own capabilities in order to defend against potential attacks against it. Taiwan has taken steps to upgrade its communication infrastructure in response to potential cyber attacks from China, in part by strengthening its defenses against potential attacks by installing an upgraded network that should withstand such attacks while keeping Taiwan connected to the outside world. Furthermore, they've announced new military drills designed to assess their preparedness, as well as increase defensive capacities and capabilities. Taiwan has also sought to strengthen its relationships with Western allies. The U.S. in particular has shown its solidarity for Taiwan by sending high-ranking officials over to visit, showing their dedication and conducting more military drills with regional partners as a response to Chinese military provocation. Japan has also shown increasing support for Taiwan, sending its defense minister to visit and discuss security cooperation agreements. Furthermore, Britain has expressed its solidarity with Taiwan while calling for peaceful solutions to any conflicts that might arise in its vicinity. Taiwan has also undertaken its own military buildup in an attempt to deter potential Chinese attacks investing in advanced weapon systems including missiles and submarines, as well as increasing defense spending. Taiwan forces also participate in joint exercises with partner military organizations so as to enhance interoperability and combat readiness. Taiwan continues its efforts to defend itself, yet tension between Taiwan and China persists and there remains the possibility of military confrontation. Therefore, it is vital that the international community work collaboratively towards preventing an escalation in violence in this region and assuring safety and security for all involved. An amicable resolution must occur, and Taiwan seeks support from allies as necessary in defending its sovereignty and protecting its population. Now, ready for more on China's recent military provocations? We're diving deeper into the latest incidents and exploring the strategies at play. What's driving these actions, and how are they impacting global stability? Hold on tight, because we'll be analyzing the potential consequences and discussing the options other nations have to respond. China's recent military provocation, including fighter jet drills and deployment of its aircraft aircraft carrier Shandong in the region have resulted in increased military cooperation between the U.S. and its regional allies, and to demonstrate readiness against potential attacks and to deter Beijing from taking aggressive actions against them. 
Drills conducted between allies demonstrate this readiness. As part of its response to China's military provocation, the U.S. has conducted joint military exercises with regional partners. Japan and South Korea, two close allies, are receiving additional defense training as they build stronger defense capabilities through interoperability. Plus, drills have taken place with Philippines countries like this, as part of our demonstration that our commitment remains firm to their security. Japan, another of America's key allies in Asia, has also conducted military drills in preparation for potential conflicts with China. Japan has significantly increased their defense spending as well as invested in advanced weapon systems, including missile defense systems and submarines. South Korea has conducted joint military exercises with the U.S. and other regional partners in order to enhance its readiness and deter any possible attacks from China. Furthermore, South Korea has invested in advanced weapon systems, including missile defense systems and submarines, in order to enhance their defense capabilities and strengthen them against potential attack from that source. Australia, another U.S. ally in Southeast Asia, has also significantly stepped up defense spending and invested in advanced weapon systems such as guided missiles. Joint military exercises between Australia, U.S., and other regional partners to hone combat readiness and deter potential Chinese threats have taken place throughout 2018. The U.S. and its regional allies recognize the necessity for cooperation to maintain stability and security in the region. By conducting joint military exercises and strengthening defense capabilities, they send out a clear signal that any aggression from China won't be tolerated. They remain committed to guaranteeing regional safety by deterring potential threats posed by China. Australia's recently unveiled defense strategy of building guided missiles by 2025 shows its growing concerns over regional security and China's growing military might. Announced in 2023, this policy marks a dramatic realignment of defense priorities within Australia, from land-based weapons to tactical weaponry. Australia's new policy underscores its resolve to strengthen its military capabilities amid an ever-evolving security environment in the Indo-Pacific. Positioned at the heart of this region, Australia plays an essential role in maintaining stability and security, so its new policy seeks to enhance Australia's strategic posture while strengthening deterrence capabilities against potential aggressors. Guided missile development is at the core of Australia's new defense strategy. Guided missiles play an essential part in modern warfare and offer significant advantages over traditional weapon systems. Guided missiles can precisely target moving objects while remaining controlled while airborne for effective offensive and defensive use. Australia has long recognized the vital role technology has to play in modern warfare, but their investment in guided missiles highlights Australia's recognition of this fact and represents a change to their defense policy, which had long been focused on land-based weapons alone. Under their new strategy, however, tactical weapons that can strike long-distance targets and secure Australian interests in regional conflicts will now play an increasing role as they seek to ensure they protect Australia's interests more efficiently than in past conflicts. Australia has committed $1.6 billion for an ambitious guided missile investment program, representing an enormous financial commitment in terms of research and development costs, as well as new technologies acquired. Australia sees this effort as part of their push toward modernizing their military capability upgrade process. Now, let's see what is Europe's take and what it means for the Chinese. Will they stand united or splinter in the face of this cosmic threat? Europe's reaction, analyze their strategic options, and discuss the potential ripple effects in global space policy. Policies. European Union crackdown on big tech companies has gained significant steam in recent years. To this end, they've identified 19 big tech firms they believe bear additional responsibility in making the internet safer. To facilitate this initiative, they implemented an act called the Digital Services Act that mandates risk management practices such as external inner auditing, sharing of data with relevant authorities slash researchers, as well as adopting code of conducts prior to August 2023 for these 19 firms, along with fighting disinformation by actively protecting users against it. European Commissioner Thierry Breton has highlighted Facebook in particular as needing immediate action and repairs were required. Twitter and TikTok will also undergo stress tests, which will test their system stability during high-stress scenarios. Their performance under stress may determine its long-term viability. Non-compliance with digital service acts may bring severe fines. Up to 6% of global turnover could apply. The EU has an intricate relationship with big tech companies. On one hand, Europe relies upon them for economic survival as much as anyone else does. On the other hand, Europe seeks to ensure these giants abide by European laws. 
Since 2017, Google and Apple have received substantial fines from EU authorities due to tax evasion charges, as well as accusations of using unfair means or spreading misinformation. 2017 alone saw Google fined for tax evasion by 2.4 billion euros, while in 2019 brought another fine totaling 4.3 billion euros, and another 1.5 billion due to abuse of dominant market position. By abusing dominant market position against competitors, fines to which EU lawmakers had recourse when tax evasion occurred, and tax evasion could still occur within EU borders, despite needing these American tech giants. The Digital Markets Act, adopted by European Parliament in July 2020, seeks to limit market dominance of big tech companies and make digital environments fair for everyone. Companies found violating it would face fines up to 10% of global revenue. Its implementation serves as an example to others around the globe. Big tech firms can be held to account when presented with sufficient incentive. In this instance, billions of fines from European regulators.